Well, for many people who've been separated from their loved ones by the US travel ban, the easing of restrictions is what they've all been waiting for. Um, you have businesses in cities like New York, which attracts millions of international tourists every year, that are also going to be breathing a huge sigh of relief. And airlines are also expecting a surge in travelers. Uh, United Airlines said it anticipated a 50% increase of uh, people, passengers coming into the United United States on Monday compared to the previous week where they counted around 20,000 travelers and uh, airlines uh, airports are expected to be busy Delta has said to expect long lines uh, what do these new rules mean exactly for international travelers well Visitors, international visitors, uh, need to have a vaccine, need to be vaccinated, and they need to show a proof of vaccination and a negative COVID test within 72 hours of departure. Unvaccinated Americans and under 18 year olds are exempt from the rules, but they need to show a negative COVID test within a day of departure. Now, the US is accepting vaccines that have been approved by the US's Food and Drug Administration and cleared by the World Health Organization. Specifically, these are the drugs from Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Covaxin, Covishield, Sinopharm and Sinovac. But it's up to the airlines to enforce the checks and make sure that contact tracing takes place as travel to the US takes off once again. Jagruti Dave, CGTN, Washington.